Greetings. My name is John O'Toole, and I'm going to talk about cloning today. Now, I've done other videos on cloning, so this is new to you. But I just thought I'd do another quick one. This should be a half hour video, and you can hold me to it. <laughs> so, I'm upgrading a 120 gigabyte uh, C drive. Um, to a 500, or actually a 250. So, I was in a need to have a small SSD that I can use to transfer files from a PC to an iMac easily. And instead of going out and buying a small drive, I just thought I would upgrade the 120 gigabyte drive on one of my computers. Uh, just a little bit and of course I you know that I have a desire on my Samsung now the one that was in there before was a scan disk I have not had one problem with that drive so you know reliable names like scan disk and uh, Samsung and Companies that specialize in making memory, you know, you're probably going to have some good reliability. You just have to be careful if you're buying them on eBay and it's it's too good to be true type of thing. Now, I fell into that too good to be true thing on eBay one time and I saw some scan disk, some Samsung uh, drives cheap. And they said it was a special, and we're shipping them directly from Asia, and blah, 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 and order now. So I ordered four of them to find out it was a scam. And eBay fortunately figured out that it was a scam, and they canceled all the orders. And I eventually got my money back. The word was eventually. In the meantime, your money is being tied up until everybody's kosher. So, I'm upgrading to the, to the classic uh, Samsung drive um, that I've used a number of times. It's only a 250. So I have 120 gig on that computer and I'm only using 60 gigs on it for the operating system and a few files. This just gives me a little wiggle room if I want to do anything a little bit more sophisticated on it. Obviously, I'm going to need something bigger, like a 500 or uh, a terabyte if I get into some really big stuff. But I primarily use that computer for uh, going on the internet. It's attached directly to my uh, my TV, my flat screen, and uh, I see a kitty at the window staring at me. That he's got to be distract me until I let him in. So that's what we're going to do today. So and just like the other ones that you've seen, they all look the same. Now on that computer, I don't have a a slot, especially for HH, uh, SSDs. So this one, I have a carrier that I don't have at the moment to show you. But there, I mean, they just look like a bracket that looks kind of like in the shape of a desktop hard drive, and you mount this in it. Uh, maybe I could post a picture right there of one. And then you can see what they look like. Cheap, under $10. And uh, some of them you can even mount two in the same carrier. So you only have to buy one and you can have two of them in your computer. So that, it's pretty simple. It's uh, 
you know, the case. There you go, like that. Now, it's a piece be on the safe side. You might want to just put the cover on it. Just to keep it from popping out while you're doing your plow. Because you don't really want it to, uh, you know. So again, we're going to use my main system to trim, to do the claw. So, you know, one's going to go into this drive, and then the the, the new Samsung is going to go into here. So, you're going to have two of them. You want to plug these into your your main ports on your computer, uh, your three USB three ports on your computer. If you don't have them and you only have USB two, it's just going to take longer. Okay, so let's see. We're going to plug these in over here. There we go. All right, and then we're going to boot up. Or Cronus. I mentioned before that a Cronus software, somewhere around forty dollars or fifty dollars if you buy it from them. You can get coupons and discounts on other sites to uh, get the license key. And then we're going to go and bring on Clone Disk. Do, 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 do. There we go. Now, and here it's not showing up in the list. So we have to do is go back in and reset that connection and restart the clone disk software. So you got to cancel. That's a demonstration of if you don't put the cover back on and the disk kind of pops off the connector, then the drive is not seen. So putting the cover on is a good thing to do. So here we go. Now here we have it here in the list. And you can see USB. And there's 120 drive right there. 120 gigabyte drive. That's our source drive. Where right now the operating system is loaded on. So at this point, we're going to select it. And then press next. And Acronis is going to think about this for a little bit. And then we're going to get the next drive, which is going to be the destination drive, which is our 250 gigabyte drive. Now, a funny thing happened with this recording is that I am recording the screen, the actions on the screen. And I'm also recording it on a camera that you're watching me. So I was all done with this whole thing, and I think I did a fantastic job. Just fantastic. <laughs> but, 
and I took it over and I was doing some video of me installing the drive to show you that it boots up great. And I noticed that the little red dot isn't at the top of the screen. Now, if I'm looking from the other side, there's a flashing red light. But uh, over here, you only get the red dot on top. And I forgot to hit pr press record. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> so I have the video of the of the screen actions, and I didn't have a video of me talking through the whole thing. That's when I had the little the uh, carrier for the SSD to show you and. You know, I actually showed me taking the screws out, putting the screws back in, you know. <laughs> so here we are, we're on the next screen. And we can see here with that we have the, the 250 USB drive um, in, in the housing. And that's the 250 version. So we saw, I'm going to select that one. And when we select it, the next button will highlight at the bottom of the screen. There we go. And then hit next. Do, 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 do. Oh, here we go. All right, so now you just kind of take a quick look at it and make sure you selected the correct source drive. Uh, as you can see, it's the two, it's 232. Sometimes it allocates space on that drive for recoveries and stuff. So you don't get the whole 250 and if you really wanted that whole 250 then you probably should have gotten yourself a 500 gig drive alright so now what we'll do is we'll hit the proceed button at some point once I'm done yakking and it's going to start working on it. So I wrote down the time here. It takes 20 minutes from here to finish. It's a little interesting because it will say different things about how long it's going to take. But I, can, I think actually it worked out because it will say 11 minutes, 5 minutes, and then go back up to 15 minutes. It really doesn't matter how long it's going to take, as long as it does it right. So this takes about 20 minutes to do. We're not going to sit and watch the whole thing. So it's at 4 out of 6. You know, it's going to go to 5. Then it's going to go to 6. And it's going to say it's all done. So I'm going to bring you back to the point where it says we're all done. So here we are, we're at the point where it's one minute to be done. There's the new file system. There's a cat at the window. The disk was successfully cloned. 
if this was this current machine, we'd be putting this drive into the position for the C drive cable, or we move over to the correct drive. So at some point along here, and of course what you want to do is go in and properly disconnect the uh, the USB drives before disconnecting them. So you want to go down into that carrot in the corner. And go up and same thing, remove and select the two drives. Now these particular enclosures, they have on-off switches on them too. So that you can turn them off to do that. But it's best to do it in software so that it properly unmounts your two drives. And then you can unplug them safely. If you don't do that, you run the chances of just of corrupting your drives, whether it's a thumb drive or a hard drive or an SSD, no matter what it is. You run the risk of corrupting the data on the drive or, or burning out the drive itself because you don't know what exactly disconnects, whether it's a data line or it's a power line. Now in this section what I'm doing is I have a copy of my Samsung Magician software in my download file on my computer. So I'm going to copy this over computers. So you don't have to necessarily have to re-download something back to another computer. It just saves, just saves you time. And that's it. How long was that? 20 minutes. I don't have to find some fluff to put in there. <laughs> uh, give me my other 8 minutes. Well, maybe I'll find something uh, for uh, replacing a hard drive on a laptop or something. So I took the uh, drives into the other room and I installed it into the into the system. Booted it up fine, came up fine. Then I uh, put in the magician software, and it actually that one of the drivers were out of date on the the new drive. Now people aren't going to buy the the 250s as often now as they would um, to buy the larger drives. So it may have been in, sitting in stock for a while, but no big deal. Samsung just upload, upgraded the uh, driver to the latest driver and we were all set. Uh, I actually got a good deal. I, I was looking at them on every site I had, um, looking around at the prices for the Samsung 250 and 500. Um, and then I, I put it in my cart on B and H, photo, and then I changed my mind and I just walked away. And then I was back on B and H. I go on B and H a lot, and uh, I noticed somewhere, or oh, maybe they just sent me an email. I think they sent me an email saying they they're giving me a ten dollar off. On the uh, on that purchase, and I said, ten bucks, ten bucks. So um, yeah, I ordered that drive for B and H. I had it the next day, and yeah, uh, B and H Photo. They have really good customer service. 
Yeah, if you have a question about something, you can go online and talk to them in chat. I haven't talked to them over the phone yet, but I'm sure they're just as nice. And then you get that New York accent to go go with it, which has got to be worth it. So, let's just see if I can have another video. So I think what I'll do is I'll put in on the end of this video um, the replacing the video on a, la on a laptop. I'm sorry. I'm going to put on the end of this video uh, replacing the hard drive with an SSD on a laptop. And most everything you know but maybe it's not worth it. Or maybe I'll just uh, include some time for the cloning to take place at the time. So I'm going to delete all this stupid stuff right here. <laughs> so there's a website out there. I've mentioned it before, but it's, it's Carrie Holtzman on YouTube. It's not a website. It's a YouTube channel. Uh, they, he talks a great deal, a lot about uh, computing. Computers, PCs basically, he doesn't do Apple. Uh, you might find yourself wanting to build your own computer, or you could, you could get help with it from them. Or you might find a friend that will help you build a computer. It's, it's very easy, they'll help you build up, a, depending on what your needs are, a price list that you can build either a modest computer or a gaming computer and instead of buying something off the shelf that is probably out of date and unnecessary you know, it's not a, a really that hard to do to build it yourself and then you get everything in it that you want it to do or you can upgrade your existing computer and that's not all that hard either depending on on the type of brand it is. So take a watch, you know, or ask some questions. You can ask questions to me. I'm not as smart as Carrie is, but you can, uh, I can certainly give you a try. And if I don't, I can refer you on to Carrie's channel and you can ask them there. Uh, on their live presentations, they are often uh, there's a lot of people there that can answer questions. So, the, often the chat is almost as interesting as watching the live stream video. So, until next time, the fairy is watching you. <laughs> well, maybe they are. I don't know. Ya cha cha cha. <laughs> Look, we're at 28 minutes. So here we're uh, installing the SSD, the Samsung, into the back of the laptop. Uh, we put on the mounting plate. This is pretty simple. It's just a simple plate that mounts on there with two screws and then there's a screw that mounts into the case of the laptop secured in place it doesn't loosen up while it's being jostled around so it's a pretty uh, pretty simple setup and uh, yeah
it's always good to, you know, use all the screws that you came with it. And then put the battery back in. Of course, you took the battery out, you unplugged it, and you took the battery out before you started taking anything apart in the laptop. And of course, these old laptops, they don't really run with the battery anyway, because they've zapped out, so you just want to plug your AC power back in so you have no surprises when it uh, cycles down. Yeah, that's yeah, easy. So here's a shot of the laptop. Uh, setting up a good camera angle here. So we're going to show you uh, the initial turning on of the laptop once we change the SSD over from the hard drive. And we're pushing the button now. There you go. I probably should blank out the name. <laughs>